After checking out of my hotel at the Breeze Inn at 10.30 in the morning, I decided to walk to the cruise port of Seward, which is about a 15 minute walk. It was pretty easy to drop off my bags and then get the free shuttle back to town. Or I might walk it, it's not far away. While I was standing there waiting for the shuttle or deciding to walk, I saw a bunch of people going in, so I walked up towards the door. Well, I didn't have to wait till five at all. I just walked up, said, lady said, do you want to check in? I said, if it's possible, I'd rather not walk back to town with my 30 pound backpack. She said, come on in. Loving this. Let's go. I am traveling solo, but I am meeting my daughter, son-in-law, and grandson on board. Boy, are they going to be surprised because they're not expecting me till 5.30. Welcome aboard Radiance of the Seas. Seward, Alaska. The Vancouver. The easiest boarding process ever. Seward, Alaska. Six hours earlier. Despite all those notifications about the terminal being busy. I'm sure it's going to be busy later, though. Okay, welcome to Deck 6 on Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas. My first time. Scunaba. Wow, this is different from any other ship I've been on. As far as the Scunaba is concerned, the layout is beautiful. These cannonballs and cannons. This is my favorite Scunaba yet. I love the decor. Can't wait to hear the piano player. Look at this beautiful globe. What is the Colony Club? I've never seen one of these before. Beautiful. Ooh, a library. Looks like a beautiful country club type of room. Wow. I guess this is like the, is it the Starlight Lounge? On Independence and Voyager of the Seas? How pretty is this? A view from the back of the ship. Seward, Alaska. Another piano. I love this ship. And they have a special chef's table. Look at this. I think this is vintages. I don't see a sign. It's called the Champagne Bar. And right off the Champagne Bar, still on deck six, is the casino. Royal Casino. I see at least one crop table. And all these peacocks, Pavo Real. Oh, $5 minimum. I hope it stays that way. Be nice. I've only seen $10 minimums on other ships. It's a beautiful casino. $10 minimum blackjack. $5 minimum three card poker. Quill and Compass, the cinema and the Aurora Theater. 
cool and compass must be the Brit pub. Very nice. Dot board too. Hi. Theater's closed. For right now. We'll check that out later. In a cinema. I've never seen a cinema before on a ship. Maybe that's just a theater. Oh, here it is. Very cool. Oh, wow. Oh, it's nice and cool in here, too. Starting at noon. Yeah, I'll have to remember to do the safety video and go to my assigned assembly station. This is deck five on Radiance of the Seas. Hello. Cafe Latitudes. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. This setup kind of reminds me of Virgin's shopping area. All kind of condensed to uh, one side, like a little shopping mall. Pretty cool. Hello. Thank you. Hello. <laughs> Let's see what Cascades is. Must be a restaurant, probably the main dining room. The main dining room, Cascades, decks five and four. Very nice. Deck 11. It's an interesting side of the ship. I haven't seen a, what do you call this, a bump out? Must be the smoking area. This is away from all the other people. Very cool. Now this is the pool on deck 11. There's not a lot of people here because not a lot of people are on board yet, but honestly, during the whole cruise, there wasn't a lot of people around the pool area just because of the cooler temperatures. But I tell you, the views are fantastic. And then you come to the solarium. The solarium is 18 plus, and it's also the place where you want to get coffee in the morning if you're up really early like I do, even before 5 o'clock. You get uh, late night snacks, and it's probably like the cafe promenade on most other ships. It's really cool. The hair salon. Here's the hair salon. It's like an African theme here. I love the art. And since I was at the front of the ship, I decided to take these stairs and go up to the 12th deck and see the Ship Shape Center, the gym. This is the Ship Shape Center, the gym. I love when it's at the front of the ship so you can see out 
stationary bikes, spin bikes. Do I see the Smith's machine? A lot of treadmills, ellipticals, rowers, the jogging track. I don't see any Smith machine here. It did have that pull down machine with the bench under it. Very nice. A lot of dumbbells and there's a pull down machine with the bench. Oh, gonna get myself to the gym. <laughs> now back down to deck 11 to make my way back to the back of the ship. These little bump out areas were pretty cool. They had a lot of windows that even opened and you could check out the spectacular scenery of Alaska. Seaward is beautiful. There's a lot more to come. There's my hotel, orange roof. Seward Harbor was beautiful from land side and from ship side. I just love looking at boats and I love looking at snow capped mountains. I love Alaska. Since it was lunchtime, I decided to check out the Windjammer restaurant. That's the buffet style of Royal Caribbean ships. This was a lot smaller than other Royal Caribbean ships I've been on, as far as the Windjammer goes, and I didn't notice any hand washing stations, although they did have a lot of hand sanitizer at the entrance, and they were singing washy washy. Now, only about two thirds of the 11th deck on the rear of the ship was part of the Windjammer, the rest of it was the Izumi restaurant. I did like the outdoor seating at the back of the ship though. It was beautiful. And from the outdoor section of the Windjammer, you can take the steps up to deck 12. This is the deck where you can get unlimited views without windows throughout all of Alaska. It was probably my favorite deck to be on. This is the deck that had most of the activities. The shuffleboard there, you had access to the arcade, and the sports complex where we played basketball and even pickleball. It's also where the kids' adventure beach pool is located and Adventure Ocean. You can see the rock climbing wall here, but it's actually on deck 13. It's easy to get up to deck 13 to the rock climbing wall and the mini golf course. You just take a couple of stairs or take the uh, elevators on either end of the ship. I really like this library area. That was kind of cool. If you ever get lost in the ship, you can look for these cool models. They show you everything, and they're on both sides of the ship. And back in the front part of the ship on deck 12, this is pretty much where the kids are going to be hanging out. They have a lot of stuff for them here. That's very nice. Now, I kept seeing signs for the Samba Grill. Can't seem to find it, though. We'll get there. And welcome to Adventure Ocean Area. I wonder how many kids are actually going to be using it in the colder Alaskan weather. It's actually beautiful out. Ah, there's a Samba Grill, Brazilian Steakhouse. I didn't get a chance to try it on this cruise, but I'll be back. And welcome to Deck 13. There's a rock climbing wall. And there's where you can watch the kids going down the slide and then the mini golf course. That's a lot of fun. It gets crowded though. It was fun taking my grandson up here. Got to start him young. Golf is great. That's some pretty interesting chairs there. And we had a lot of fun playing cornhole on this deck. This is the Viking Crown Lounge. They have a lot of events up here, and one of them was the silent disco called Hush. That was, that was really fun. It's always a lot of fun. These windows are fantastic, especially on beautiful calm days. There's the entrance to the Crown Lounge that used to be called the Diamond Lounge, and that pretty cool statue of Marilyn Monroe that my grandson thought was weird. <laughs> and off the Viking Crown Lounge, there's the Crown Lounge. It's for uh, diamond status and above. Great place to get coffee and snacks all day long.
They just announced the rooms are available and open, so let's go down to deck four and check it out. My first ocean view non-balcony cabin on any cruise ship. Let's see. It's very dark. Viola. Please check out my video on the cabin 4590 and let's continue on with the rest of the tour of the ship. I decided to go up to deck 13 and check out the sail away party, but there wasn't much happening. I think most of the people on this cruise were doing the round tripper, so not many people got on at Seward. So those that had got on in Vancouver had already had sailed away. Or just maybe everybody was down on deck 6 in the Colony Club to check out the baby husky puppies. That's beautiful. They gave a lot of information on it too and the kids got to hold them and so did a lot of adults. All right, here we go. Departing the Port of Seward. Look at those birds. I did a short on that, they got a lot of views. Pretty cool. They sure had a lot of activity on the ship, like the Name That Tune game. I decided to take a walk around the ship and look through these portholes to see if I could get some uh, interesting photography with my skills that I really don't have. One of my favorite places on the ship, on any ship, is the bow of the ship. I love it. Who doesn't want to stand at that mast and stretch out and say, I'm king of the world? <laughs> I think we all do. Time to head down to the scooter bar and check out Olena Gratova. There really was a lot of excellent talent on this ship. And one of the, my favorite things about the Radiance of the Seas is the decor. And when you get up early in the morning before everybody else, it's a good opportunity to take some videos and take some pictures of the beautiful ship. There's a nice shot of the sunrise at 5.30 in the morning, even though the sun actually rose at about 4 a.m. I love it up here. One of my favorite things about Royal Caribbean is their tribute to veterans. In recognition and honor to our Gold Star families, but also any recipients of the Medal of Honor as well. Okay, who doesn't love towel animals? I had a new one almost every day. <laughs> and then that view of approaching the Hubbard Glacier. Icebergs everywhere. I love coming to the Hubbard Glacier. And with the radiance of the seas being smaller than the Quantum class ships, this is the closest that I've been. The water is absolutely beautiful, an amazing color. By the time I booked the cruise, the excursion to go up to the glacier in this boat were all sold out. I heard from some people later that went on this that they had a great time and got some great video of parts of the glacier falling off into the ocean. One of these days. Well, I hope you enjoyed my cruise on Royal Caribbean's Radiance of the Seas. I'll be publishing more soon, including a trip to Juneau, a beautiful train ride through White Pass in Skagway, a walk through the famous Hammer Museum in Haines. Who can miss that? A ride to Gondola in Icy Strait Point, take a beautiful walk around Ketchikan. And then off to Vancouver. We'll see you next time.